Hey guys, welcome back. Today what we're going to do is we saw how the action on my POW the other day was uh, not so good. Doesn't flip, it's kind of greedy. So I did talk to Todd and I mentioned it on my other video that we would maybe do a uh, teardown video. So after talking to Todd, getting a few pointers, so to speak, we're going to tear this apart and uh, see what, one, what's inside, and two, if we can make it a little bit better or not. So I thought that other screw underneath the clip was going to be the same size Torx. It's odd. So let me see if I've got a smaller one on here, which I think I might. If not, I will have to pause and come back. Uh, let me see here. Oh, let's see, I got another bit. It should work. There we go. And uh, we'll get this thing torn apart and uh, see what we can do. So let's keep the uh, small one way over there. And these other ones we'll put over here on the side and the clip one over here on that side okay so i think we got the uh hardware out and then we just gotta take this pivot one out and we shall see what is inside handle's already starting to come loose i can tell Okay, so this is the first time that I have had this knife open. It doesn't look too bad inside. But uh, it's just really dry. Backspacer is pretty clean, actually. Let's see how this comes out. There we go. I think, honestly, and looking at it right now, it's not dirty. It's just dry. That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, it's just completely dry. Which is okay. We can get that lubed up a little bit here. And uh, honestly, <laughs> it's pretty clean. Take a Q-tip and kind of wipe around in here, and uh, it's a little dirty, but it's not bad at all. I mean, honestly, it's not what I had anticipated. I think it's just really dry. So, Todd had said just to uh, use a little WD-40 to clean everything off. So I will do that here in the side. Got a little another little towel here. Gonna wipe this bearing surface off. So as you can tell, it runs on bearings, as I had mentioned in my first video about the POW. So just kind of clean that up inside of there. A little Q-tip here. Get a little bit more spray. I'll just spray right here and right here. And we'll scrub this out a little bit. So all in all, this is a super simple knife. I mean, there's nothing in here, really. And there's really no dirt or grit on the scales. I mean, tiny, tiny bit, which I'll wipe off. But this is going to be pretty quick and easy to put back together, too, I think. So... We have another second here off camera to kind of wipe this down. It's because it's easier to do to the side. But yeah, again, nothing, nothing too difficult here in terms of what's involved in this thing. Super simple. Ah, uh, yeah. See so if I get on the scales. There was just a little bit of ring of lube or something on there. So it's really not dirty. Just a little bit 
of some schmooge on it. But really, there wasn't much to talk about, and even less to clean off, really. Now, I have seen some other videos. Somebody was talking about possibly um, smoothing all this stuff out, really just kind of where the bearings go, uh, polishing it. But these are really clean. I don't know that that's necessary. All right, so, uh, you know what? Let's just spray the bearings down real quick, too, just because. Doesn't hurt, right? Give them just a little bit of a wipey wipe. Make sure that they're clean and dry before we lube them back up. I mean, they were already dry, so this is kind of tough to do with the camera. But So there's that one, and I'll spray this one real quick. Kind of rub it around, get it cleaned off, and we'll get this thing back together real quick. So there you go. Everything is nice and clean. Talk to Todd. He goes, dude, just use some just thin oil. Whatever you got around is going to work just fine. So I've got some gun oil here, and we will just put a little bit here in this track. A little bit around here, a little bit over here. And we'll put a little bit more on the uh, other side once we get the blade back on. So we just want to make sure that we get the blade in the right direction because, you know, we'd hate to put it together backwards. But that's something I might do. So, good thing we check. Make sure, kind of move that around, around without taking too much off. I think we got it. Give it another little drop there. And rub it around. Backspacer back in here too. And I think that's really all she wrote. So we'll get this tightened back up real quick and see what happens. I think I was a little bit out of camera there for part of that, but I think you get the gist. I think we get the gist. We can get that all lined up a little bit right there. Tighten that one down just a little bit until we get these other ones lined up. Because we want to make sure that everything lines up before we get it tight. So, yeah, Todd's a great guy. I know that uh, he works really hard. And I definitely like his work. A little tough to get all this stuff to line up because working around a camera and a tripod trying to see to get everything lined up right is a little tough but I think that's it right in there and this was back to our normal sized head think. There we go. That one's getting th threaded and started. That one started. This one was the smaller. I think it's got to be smaller to fit in correctly under the uh, pocket clip so it doesn't come out and, and interfere with your pocket as you're going in and out. So if I can get this one to line up, there we go, I think.
And I'll leave the pocket clip one off for right now because I don't need to put the clip on just yet. I don't know that this one lined up just right or went in properly. Eh, Houston, we might have a problem. I'll loosen these other ones up just a hair. So you'll either see this video or you won't if I end up with a pile of parts that I need to send back to Todd, then you may not see this one. Because this is kind of lining up, but not really. Bear with me, guys. There we go. Got it. So now, just give these other ones just a little snug, and then we can try to action it and see what happens. See if that helped or not. Give it a few little runs to make sure it's the lube is dispersed around. See the centering I need to adjust still. Now that it's all in. So it's centered again. And I'll put some Loctite and stuff on here after. But for the, look at that. Success, I think. It always, again, it's tough around the camera. But in just normal flip, it was not flipping earlier at the beginning of the video. So I need to play with the uh, detent a little bit and the pivot just to get it just the right tension on the pivot. But that's way better. So it was just really loose. And I think I need to adjust the pivot in a little bit. And that is a Allen that I don't think I have right here with me. Let me check my tool. Let's see. Yeah. Um, nope. Don't have a small Allen for that right here with me. So I'll play with that. But you see where it, how easy that was. It is super smooth now. It just feels so much smoother. I can just tell. I always finger flipped it anyway, but it will flip now, so success. And there you have it. That's how you take down a heater POW. Give it a little bit of lube and uh, you'll be good to go. But apparently if they dry completely out, noise bueno. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I think we ran a little bit long on this one because I had some trouble getting a couple of screws back together. But again, that's how it goes when you're working around the camera. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.